Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, it's Friday. We made it to Friday, Cancer. Woo! This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you. Okay, Cancer, just take what does resonate, Cancer, and leave the rest. All right, don't try to force anything. And thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for everything. The likes, the subscribes. Um, yeah, all of my subscribers, everybody new here. Um, thank you for the comments, the donations. You guys, I love you so, so much. Today is the 1111 portal cancer. I'm super duper excited. I really am. Um, I have, uh, I had a prayer event this morning at 11 and I have another prayer event at 11 tonight. So um, if you guys want to sit down at 11 o'clock tonight and just pray, be thankful, tell the divine what you want in your future, you know, um, we're, I'm going to be praying for at least 11 minutes, but I usually make it for me, it's usually ends up being about a half hour, you know, but um, anyway, cancer. Yeah, that's going on tonight at 11. Um, I've got my flowers and an offering here for the divine. Um, yeah, we're ready to rock and roll now, right? Right? Entering into a new cycle, Cancer. Feeling really good, too. You know, I got to say, your energy, and look at this. Look what's on the bottom at the split. A new beginning for you. What was on the bottom here? <sighs> you got to be kidding me. Cancer, is this what's coming to you in the new cycle? What's this? Yeah, coming out of a mental mind trap. Okay, this is what was in the old cycle cancer. We should just toss it right off the table because I'm telling you now, <laughs> I'm telling you, you're getting a new beginning. You're being blessed. Ultimate wish fulfillment cancer because you know what you're taking. Your, you're taking your power back. You're taking control of your own life here. Um, I feel like you've bossed up into higher font energy. I feel like this is your energy. Um, it's almost as if you're teaching other people lessons too because they're going crazy. These people are going nutty in the background over you leaving the scene. I feel like this is your energy as well. Okay. Um, just making uh, passionate moves, I feel. That's what you're doing. You're taking control. A lot of powerful energy here for you. All right, so what can you show me for cancer? Yeah, you're coming out of a um, mind trap here. You No more mental mind traps for you. No more stagnancy. No more being stuck alone, feeling bad about it, feeling upset about any injustices done to you. I feel like you're releasing, and as soon as you do, you take control back. You gain all of this power and knowledge, cancer, okay? Um, just a lot of power here at both masculine and feminine energy. So you've got this really awesome duality about you. Um, yeah, this is look. And I feel like new love is coming in for you as well. Look at all these blessings that you get. And then there's other people in the background that are fighting over this. Uh, stirring. This is stirring up a lot of chaos. Claire... Got a King of Pentacles energy here. Um, clarify this uh, Five of Wands for Cancer. You're about to get blessed with new love, a new beginning. Uh, this could even be like a lump sum of money, a lot of abundance here. Um, and just ultimate wish fulfillment. Man, you're entering into a time of your life now. Um, where it's just a, uh, like a celebration, right? What did I say when I first started this? Like, it's 11-11 and I'm super duper excited, right? Yeah, no more waiting. I feel like, too, this, um, whoever this King of Pentacles energy is, I feel like there's some kind of fight or a lot of chaos going on behind the scenes. They don't, this is somebody who's, um, normally grounded and stable but i gotta say i'm not feeling it off of this person this time i am not feeling any grounded stable energy off of this king of pentacles energy they um they don't want to wait anymore on something it's causing a lot of chaos cancer it's like this person i feel like um they want to jump up from that throne right <laughs> 
and come forward super fast, super passionately. Um, you know, it makes me think of that Knight of Wands again. I wonder if someone's just going to just up and do it, you know. Um, like they're just going to get up and come forward really quick. Chariot, yeah. They're moving forward quickly here, Cancer. This could be them too wanting to come towards you because um, you're moving forward. But, uh, you know, you are out here having a victory. You could be dealing with um, another Cancer, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Pisces energy. I feel like... Um, I feel like I kind of get the feeling like you're not waiting for this person anymore. I feel like you're the one seeing things from a new perspective. Like, you know, the hangman, um, the hangman kind of uh, stays stationary. So they go, sort of go within, they keep to themselves until they see things from a different perspective. I feel like you've finally seen things from a different perspective. You're done being stuck. You're done being stuck in your mind. There's not going to be any more waiting for this person. Whoever this King of Pentacles energy is, you're not waiting for them anymore. You're, you are able to be enlightened here in this Cancer somehow, either through messages. I feel like you're very intuitive here. Messages from the divine or just, you know what, it's gone on too long and all of a sudden, you're like, nope, I'm not waiting anymore, and you move forward. Yeah, because you know somebody else is in the future for you. You're in this beautiful empress energy, too. You're about to get somebody um, who's going to be true to you, Cancer, who's going to just choose you, someone who's done their work on themselves, somebody who's been through a battle, and now they're having a victory in life, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. They may have a lot of other people in the background that are kind of competing for their attention right now. Um, but when they, they're going to know who it is that they want here, Cancer. They're going to know. Once they see you and meet you, that's going to be it. Who wouldn't want an empress? This is every queen in the deck. This is someone who's independent, strong, courageous, um, confident, uh, successful, a boss, business owner, entrepreneur, someone who makes boss moves, somebody who's leveled up and is living a comfortable life um, and happy, that somebody who doesn't really need anybody. Um, I mean, the empress, that's, it would, it would, you don't just meet an empress every day, just anywhere, you know, you can't easily find an empress. This person is going to recognize you um, for everything you are, all the qualities of every queen in the deck, that's you. And I feel like you're like, um, you're saying to yourself here, I know my worth, I know my value, I know who I am, I am, I am an empress, right? Um, with the higher font out here, you could even be a possible light worker as well, uh, a healer. Okay, and you're, you're, you just know you don't need anybody. You've been through it and you're done. You've, you've been enlightened here, Cancer. This hangman energy I feel is yours. You're not waiting for this person anymore. You're not. And as you leave this energy, right, as you take your energy back and take your power back, um, it's causing a lot of chaos. Like I still can't figure out what this is. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, your person's about to miss out on the love that they want. This Ace of Cups was handed to them. Um, it was shoved in their face. Here you go. Take this, right? Um, this is what you want, this Ace of Cups, this blessing and love. And they didn't want it. I feel like this King of Pentacles maybe thought that um, they were better than you. Thought that you weren't enough. Okay, they didn't want this blessing in love. They didn't want love. They didn't see the value in love. What, you know, um, they were maybe focused on other things that weren't, that hadn't worked out in their life. Something like that. Maybe they had had several bad relationships. Like I'm seeing three possible really bad relationships. 
big ones, main ones that ended miserably for this person. Okay, maybe that's what they were focused on. I feel like at one point this person sat down under an apple tree and said, Divine, please give me the kind of love that's going to, you know, not going to mess me over, right? So the Divine did. They, they handed them this Ace of Cups, which is you, right? And um, they didn't want it. They didn't want it, Cancer. They looked at you like you didn't have enough to bring to the table. And now you pulling your energy away, you getting yourself unstuck, this person somehow realizes you're not waiting, waiting for them anymore. You're just not. You're not. You, you got your set of wheels here with the chariot. Um, yeah, and you're moving on. You're moving forward. And you know there's somebody out there, Cancer, who's going to just want you. They're not going to hem and haw. They're going to see you for what you're worth. They're, they're going to know how valuable you are, how valuable this love is, okay? And they're going to just choose you. I should start doing um, after tarot at the end of your readings. Yeah, who, do, who, who likes that idea? Let me know if you like that idea. Because um, I kind of do. Yeah, now they can't stop thinking about you, Cancer. This is definitely this person from your past. I get the feeling like they're, um, they can't stop thinking about the things that you said to them. Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, Earth Angel energy, I'm telling you. And strength, too. You're a light worker here. When this person walked away from you, Cancer, I feel like, honestly, they're looking at you like they're, they keep going over something in their mind. And they can't stop thinking about something that you said to them. When they walked away, you felt betrayed. But there was a truth that you spoke in a very intuitive way. Like, um, and you were, you were strong, you, you, you were telling this person the truth. This is the truth, standing in your truth, okay? Standing in your boundaries, having integrity. You said something to this person when they betrayed you, and now they can't get it off of their mind. So you may, may have said, you know what, uh, what are you doing? Um, you're walking away from happiness, or maybe you warn them of something, Cancer, is really what I'm feeling like here. Um, like, we could be happy, or this is a true soulmate connection, or you're going to end up losing me and you're going to regret it. It's something like that. Um, this person hasn't been able to get it off of their mind, and I feel like it's making them really emotional here very emotional because you were right you were absolutely right you were intuitive you were right and now at the end of this cycle whatever is happening is or whatever you said is actually happening i feel like it's it's it, they're all up in their feels cancer over this they can't stop thinking about something that you said is really the feeling that i'm getting here yeah, like you yeah, like you told them, you know, we could have it all. We could have it all. But how, how you're letting it end? We could build something solid, but you're letting this end? Like you told them something like that, okay? Cuz they really could have had it all with you. They could have. They together you two could have built a commitment and generational wealth. This is ultimate wish fulfillment. This could have been something that was solid. And this person, like, I don't know. It's like they didn't want to, they didn't want to confront this. And you called it out with judgment. They didn't want to face it. Or maybe they weren't ready or something. I don't know. Maybe they were scared. This is feeling intimidated. But you were honest with this person. You were honest with them. I feel like they were hiding something. Maybe you called them out on that too. You know? Like, are you hiding a third party? No third party situation. Something like that, right? 
because you knew they were hiding something. They didn't want to. They didn't want to admit to it. They didn't want to admit to the things that they had done. Maybe that's what you said to them. Whatever it is that you said to this person, and I feel like it was something that you said, guys. I don't usually read the Queen of Swords like that, but yeah, I feel like when this person walked away, okay, you said something to them that was the honest truth in a very peaceful way, right? But you stood your ground. You, you stood by it. You stood by your truth, right? And you told them, I'm telling you, and now they, they're, it's making them feel very emotional because it's actually um, happening. They're seeing um, that you, uh, you're extremely intuitive, okay? You're a healer, a teacher, a spiritual teacher, spiritual healer, empath energy, light worker energy. You know, you could have, you could have been... You could have given this person a warning, you know. You could have even told them that you're an intuitive, you're a light worker, you're an earth angel. And they didn't believe you, but whatever you're putting out there, Cancer, and whatever change is happening right now um, with this portal right here, um, this person, uh, they're all kinds of emotional right now because they realize that it's all true. You were telling them the truth. You were telling them the truth, and they really did, in fact, miss out on a blessing in love with an empress, and you never find that again. That's a, that's a one in a million shot. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, I feel like you called them out, you spoke your truth, and then that was it. That was all that you said. That was it. I also feel like you're making a judgment call now that you're done with this. You're done with it. They needed to choose a path here, Cancer, and they, I, you know, they didn't. Now they're feeling like a fool. Whatever they stayed in, instead of you, it was something toxic. They're feeling like an idiot, Cancer, because they chose something toxic over you, and I feel like that's what this person was hiding. Some kind of third party. This person, most likely they put you in a third party, uh, had, having to choose between two different people. You, which they had the chance at everything, everything. They literally could have had it all. And now I, I feel like they're rolling in the deep, I got to say. You're all they can think about. Like, if this is deep. Because, um, honestly, you were right about everything. You were right about everything. They could have seen um, signs of you being an earth angel. Maybe that freaked them out. I, I just get the sense that they were hiding something. They chose the wrong person. You called them out on it. You said something that they now they can't get, they can't get it off of their mind. Um... And you're putting yourself out there. You guys could be out in, in the public eye right now, um, showing yourselves, maybe even putting yourself out there on the dating scene, right? Getting a lot of attention from, from other people because the same kind of messages you tried to get this person to hear, they're the same kind of messages that other people are like, they, it's almost as if they rely on, on what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like you're speaking the truth. You're healing other people. Um, you're a guide here. You're guiding others. And I feel like that's what you tried to do for this person. And they just didn't listen. And now they're realizing, oh my gosh. Cancer had it going on, right? They can't stop thinking about what you said. There was something that you said. Like you stood up for yourself. And you spoke your truth, I feel. When you were betrayed, you spoke your truth. And then you stopped. Then that was it. You spoke your mind. You dropped the mic. Right? And you, you proceeded to um, block them out. Maybe block them off of social media. Block their number off of your phone. That kind of thing. You, you said what you needed to say here. 
and it was absolutely the truth and then you drop the mic and that's the last time this person heard from you and now those words linger I'm hearing now the cranberries do you have to let it linger do you have to do you have to let it linger right because now they're looking at their lives now cancer and it's fallen apart everything everything that they chose instead of you is falling apart and there's no um, like there's no opportunities coming either in their future nothing can grow under all of this snow there's no green grass I feel like this person thought they were better than you um, maybe they didn't see the value of your love just your love you know they didn't see your value as the empress that you had in you you had it in you the whole time and I feel like um, they chose this toxic whatever this is maybe it's a karmic situation over you cancer um, had you wait forever you're done with the wait time you're done being stuck in your mind with this person you're done keeping them you're done with them keeping you in stagnancy okay you're done and ever since they made this decision their life has been falling apart like in every area little by little they could be um, in bad health right now I feel like they've been kind of this was in a king of Pentacles energy this is somebody who maybe was a provider to whoever they were chained to in this toxic situation their money um, now they're having a hard time with their money um, this is financial struggles here struggles with their business or a job um, they could even have a hard time keeping a place to live everything seems to be going wrong and honestly through it all cancer I gotta say the one thing that bothers them the most even with all of their issues that they're going through is what you said if there's something that you said here cancer and this person just can't get it off of their mind it's sort of making them um, kind of an emotional wreck I gotta say I mean, they go from a very grounded, kind of snooty king of, of pentacles to a very emotional king of cups. That's a big jump. That's a huge jump, okay? The king of pentacles is a very logical thinking person, very grounded, very stable. They don't get in their emotions. This person is they're kind of a mess right now and they they just quite simply can't forget they just keep replaying it in their head whatever you said and um, you were right and they're realizing you were right and they're feeling like a fool they're feeling like a fool cancer I just saw the Emperor on the bottom of the deck this person knows if they got with their empress, they could have that ten of pentacles. They could have it all. Now they're deep in their emotions, right? They could have had it all, but now they're rolling in the deep. Yeah. Now they want to come forward. Uh, but it's taken this person way too long. And they're guarded. They're worried that they're going to be rejected. Possibly they're worried that they don't have enough now because you know what they they they're not doing as well as the Empress That's for sure. They thought at one point that they were better than you They thought they were better than you cancer and now look they're in the five of Pentacles and you're the Empress You bossed up on this person You know you put the effort in you grew something for yourself now you're everything that I stated earlier. You're independent, um, living a very comfortable life. You don't need anybody in this energy. You're extremely abundant. And now they can see. They can see who you are now, but now you can see, right? You're in hangman energy. 
Uh, you're seeing everything from a, from a whole new perspective. Your take on this is way different than it was when this person had you in a mental mind trap. You're not in that mental mind trap anymore. You're sitting comfortably on the Empress throne, a place where they never thought you would be because they didn't see your worth. Okay? Oh, this card messes me up. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, for me, for Cancer. I feel like this person maybe tried to be sneaky, like you were good enough for them to come in and take from, for them to use. This could have been somebody who saw you as an opportunity, right, to take from. And if they thought that you weren't good enough to keep, what does that say about their character, right? That's why you're seeing things from a new perspective. That's why a light bulb's going off. You realize that the, it, this person, whatever they did to you, Cancer, it was planned out. They, if you were um, in a struggle, right? If the King of Pentacles was turning their nose up at you like you weren't good enough, Cancer, to begin with, how come they're coming in and out taking something from you? If they saw you in a, in a constant struggle, right? Unable to keep both feet on the ground, right? Um, why, would they, why would they come in and take from you? You're realizing that this was, this was their original plan. And that means everything they said to you was a lie. Everything they did was deception. And afterwards, they were probably pretty smug that they got away with it. But what you don't know, Cancer, is this person didn't get away with anything. I feel like all the pain that they put you through, everything that they tried to take from you, it all went straight into their back. And they realize now that they, they just defeated themselves. Okay, they defeated themselves, Cancer, um, just by thinking that they were better than you and thinking they could take advantage of somebody who may have been in a struggle or in a vulnerable situation at the time. When what does that say about their character? Huh? Huh? You know? And now there, you. I feel like you told them something. You said something to to them, Cancer. Think back. Right when this person walked away and betrayed you, you said something to this person, man, that they just cannot get off their mind now. It's really making them very emotional. And coming from the King of Pentacles throne, it's very odd that this person is so emotional right now. That's at opposite ends of the spectrum, okay? Now this person wants to reach out to you. Now they want to reach out. Um, it's been a long, long time since they turned their back on you, Cancer, and walked away, okay? Um, but this is like beginning stage stuff. This is like, um, hey, Cancer, can we talk? That's about it, you know? And then they're going to wait for you. I feel like you're on the way out, but look at, you're so far um, ahead of this person in your, in your work, in your spirituality. They know that now. I feel like this is that respect. This is the, the respect that you um, should have gotten from this person before. They're, they want to give you that respect now. Because, man, were you right you were so right. Whatever you said to this person, whatever you're putting out there with your intuition, you were absolutely spot on. And it's got this person all kinds of emotional. The king of pentacles is emotional. You know, and what that tells me, Cancer, too, is this person is adopting feminine energy now. I feel like before they were all up in their masculine energy, the ego, right? The arrogance of this person, right? 
thinking they were better than I'm Mr. King of Pentacles. I'm better, you know. Now they're having to accept their emotions. And that tells me, just like you have adopted feminine and masculine energy, and you've risen to a whole new level in your spirituality as well, by the way. But just like you have both feminine and masculine energy here, they're now adopting their feminine energy. Okay, so this is this whole thing, and whatever it was that you said to them that they can't stop thinking about, it's literally changing this person. It's changing them from somebody who's logical-minded, somebody who's never up in their emotions, someone who's grounded, stable, arrogant, and this person was materialistic, superficial, selfish, egotistical, and arrogant at the time. But now, accepting these emotions, this person is learning, and I feel like that it's something about you that help this person learn their lessons here. This is someone learning a lesson. That's like a lot of progress, okay? Now they want to collaborate on things with you. They want to work with you on this. They may even want to know more about your spirituality and the things that you know, right? Because there's more than just love in that cup. What do I always say? It's your spirituality in this cup too, your beliefs, your faith, intuition, discernment, everything that you hold at in a soul level is in that cup. So I feel like not only are they starting to really um, get that feminine side about them, that duality like you have, but they're also opening up to the spiritual side of everything. And I feel like this person may want to learn more from you, from the Master, the High Priestess, Higher Font, Queen of Wands energy. This is you. Adopting that feminine and masculine side. All of this is you. You are like a Grand Master right now. Okay? Yeah, you are definitely held in very high regard, very spiritual, because you know what? You did a lot of learning through this journey. It taught you a lot. And now I feel like this person, they want to know more now. Um, yeah, I take it how it resonates, guys, but there's something that you said to this person that is changing them from the inside out. Okay, it's changing them. They can't shake it. Um, it's going to be different for all of you, but I think it had to do with this connection and this journey. Like, and, and anything else, any red flags you saw about this person, you would call out immediately. This person is getting nothing but signs that you're a divine feminine, a light worker. This is a light worker here a healer, someone very spiritual, and your energy right now, like you are a master. You're a, you're a master held in high regard. I feel like this person wants to learn more, but I feel like now it's too late. You're being blessed right now, Cancer, with a new beginning. A new love is coming in for you. Um, uh, ultimate wish fulfillment, you've seen this whole situation from a new, higher perspective, okay? Like a bird's eye view. Oh, that's why they lied about that. Oh, this whole thing was planned out for them in advance. Oh, if I wasn't good enough at the time, then what were they doing with me in the first place? Yeah. You're seeing all of this now. You're no longer like making excuses for this person. You're no longer going to wait for them. You're moving forward. This is an ending to a cycle. So now that, now that this is over, now your person wants to come in and talk. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here, you guys. So anyway, Cancer, um, that's what I've got for this reading. 
Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you, my darlings. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe, right? Join the awesome soul tribe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.